So would you buy a three and a half cap right now? So what if I told you it was $95 million, which is about $928 a square foot, $95 million, three and a half cap, and would you close that all cash in a week? Well, that's exactly what happened. A group in New York the other day, uh, well, the property was in New York. The group was out of England. They were a family office. They paid $95 million cash for a three and a half cap uh, property that was developed by the family that still owned it. It was an original uh, owner developer family that uh, had a legacy asset that they wanted to transfer to another family. So it was a family office that came in out of England. They flew in, looked it over, closed on it in cash in a week. It was a three and a half cap, $95 million building. You can look it up on the real deal. It'll give you all the details about it, 928 bucks a square foot. So the question is who can do that and why would they do that? Why would somebody pay for a three and a half or pay three and a half um, percent for a property or buy a property at a three and a half cap, which for that transaction, represents a real return on the cash invested. So there's a lot of discussion, debate over cap rate, and usually the people that are talking about cap rate, um, a lot of times are economists that aren't actually investing. So, you know, what a cap rate really is, it's a return on cash invested for a stabilized asset. So at a three and a half cap, if you're investing $95 million, you take that times 3.5%, that's what your net return on that investment is expected to be. Now, that was a legacy asset by the family that developed it and they owned it for a long time. So there is probably some potential uh, upside, value add upside, but the family that bought the property did not buy it uh, because they could add value to it and increase the value. They bought it as a preservation of wealth play. They bought it to protect their wealth, to preserve their wealth. It's a legacy asset, a trophy asset. It's in New York in a great, uh, area. It's a high rise building. So it will last the test of time. It'll last forever. It'll provide that family with an, with an annuity, a stable income in perpetuity. So that is who buys legacy assets. That's why they buy legacy assets. And that's how you can pay three and a half percent for a property or, or buy a property at a three and a half cap rate um, that will work for you in the long run. And right now, when you think about that, I mean, there's trillions of dollars out there that's controlled by family offices that are looking for a home for that capital. And if they're looking to park it at three and a half percent return on capital, that tells you a lot about what's going on in the economy right now and what the options are for uh, investors seeking yield. So uh, interesting deal. Check it out. It's on the real deal. You can look it up and see what it's all about. Um, but that is how you make a three and a half cap work. That's who's looking for it. And those buyers are out there all day long looking for the right kind of assets, trophy assets and or portfolios of properties that will provide ultra high net worth individuals and family offices with legacy protection, legacy wealth protection and uh, trophy assets that they can carry on for generations.